In this section, we are going to review the fragmentation management for data. Now, uh, in the previous section, we discussed the logical structure of the Oracle database, that the database was divided into table spaces. Uh, table spaces, some are built automatically for us that use a default block size that is selected during the installation. The default block size, as we said, cannot be changed. And then we create the additional table spaces based on what we need uh, in the database. And we said we create the table spaces based on object type, size, and behavior. That's why we need to make sure that the table spaces we create have the proper block size to start with. And then the file management as a table space and data files are the only relationship between the logical and the physical data. A table space can use a single file or multiple files behind the scene. And an object, if we do use multiple files, could be split between multiple data files. So that could make management of individual object kind of cumbersome. So part of fragmentation management and database management is to make sure that most of the data we reference and get are set up continuously, okay? Uh, in Oracle, again, physical fragmentation is not a major deal uh, because for Oracle database, all data is logical, okay? Uh, normally, we write stripes, big chunk of data on the disk, and we read normally ch bigger chunks of data. So as far as the physical aspect, normally we don't worry about the physical aspect that much.